Okay, so, um... Fuck off. Um... Let's go uncover a crystal, I guess. I should probably keep Ruby away from the crystal loop, to be honest. I, um... I can't help but feel like you would try to ground it, grind it down and then, you know, snort it. What the fuck did I just do there? Whatever. Um... Here we go. Right, so I've just got to completely uncover the crystal in the middle of a desert. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Especially with a stone pickaxe. Alright, you know what, this is the most painstaking, boring fucking task I've ever had to do in the history of tasks that are painstaking, boring, and that I have had to do. I'm just gonna go make myself a powerful pickaxe. Because... I mean, why wouldn't I? I have the ability to. And I personally don't care for all this. Right, shit shack, ho! There we go. Don't tell Ruby I'm doing this. What he doesn't know can't hurt him. Yeah, let's just throw a fucking diamond in here. Oh yeah, we, we AMC'd a fuck ton of stakes, didn't we? Yeah, part of me thinks that this might not be enough to uh, fucking get me the diamonds that I need. Although that glowstone certainly was, Jesus Christ. And that golden apple definitely was, okay. That's better. Right, let's make myself a, a real quick diamond pick. Yeah, that rhymes. Nice. So we've got a diamond pick. There we go. And, you know what, fuck it, let's make a diamond shovel since I'm going to have to deal with so much fucking sand. And now we go back to star sad, or sad stars. This is neither of those. Uh, shit, wrong tome. Uh, Waystone. I know English, shut up. <laughs> Alright, let's quickly hop down here. What the fuck happened here? You know what? I don't want to know. Quartz is one of my favorite Minecraft building materials. Almost everything I build in some way has quartz in it. And I think my obsession with that did start with the Jaffa factory, to be honest. Those were the things that defined my early eras of Minecraft, so it would only make sense that that'd be what defines... There we go. That'd be what defines my early block palettes that have sort of just stuck with me over the years. But I'm pretty sure that those glowing lights, a la the death of the Ender Dragon, mean that uh, this crystal's now horny or something, I don't know, turned on. Right. So all I have to do is put a crafting table here, right? There we go. It's almost like this room was designed to draw your eye to the center of the room, so that's where you'll put the crafting table. Uh, wait, what was that? Your vision expands. You learned more about exploration. That's nice. I'm guessing that's, like, its charge or something. Oh. Oh, that looks nice. See, that's one of the things that drew me to this mod. Beyond, you know, story relevance. It just looks nice. It's really chill. I like it. I'm guessing that this blue nebula is exploration, right? Yeah, here we go. What's in exploration? We've got the looking glass, noct noctur nocturnal powder. Why did that take so long to say? Cave illuminator, illumination powder. Rock crystal properties, light wells, infused wood, crystal modification, crystal tools, starlight crafting altars, fossic energy, and astral relays. Okay. Well, this is all well and good, and I'm glad I've got this far. But I actually want to go back to my base for a second. 
I know it may seem weird to abandon this place now that I'm actually finally doing something, but... One of the joys I find in this game is building my base. I like having a nice looking home. And for as much as I want to get involved with the sky magic and I want to reconnect with the stars, I want a nice place to do it in. A place that looks nice. And to do that, I'm going to have to start work on my walls. I can't exactly give this place a roof, considering, you know, I need access to the sky and the stars, but I can at least give this place walls, right? And I think the first step to doing that is crafting some furnaces. Like I said, some of my favorite building material ever is marble and stone brick. So I think it's time I started getting some stone brick. I have 41 coal, I can spread that evenly, or as even as, you know, this is, between four furnaces, and I can, uh, I can grab some, some, some cobblestone. I appear to be out of cobblestone, so you know what, I'm just gonna split a single stack between the four furnaces. How do I, oh, oh, fuck, okay, you know what, never mind. 16... Why is that in the top slot? 16. Sixteen. And sixteen. Why are you in the top slot? There we go. Right, okay. I can feel good about that now. Um Yeah, let's go back down here. Actually, no, let's not go back down there just yet, because I have no idea if we need to be down there. Let's check out the Astral Tome. So, I'm guessing since it's disconnected from everything, the first thing it wants is the Looking Glass, right? Despite stars having a set location of appearance as they wheel overhead in the sky, certain reoccurring patterns and shapes will appear to those sensitive to the magical energies em emanated by them. Uh, these magical constellations have their own schedule they appear within, which is linked to the phases of the moon. A specifically crafted glass can be used to make these magical energies far more visible to the viewer. Despite being a rather simple device, the looking glass will facilitate viewing the strongest of these magical constellations through the ebb and flow of interfering energies from other constellations means that only one con- Wait, what? Uh... What? Despite being a rather simple device, the Looking Glass will facilitate the viewing of the strongest of these magical constellations through the ebb and flow of interfering energies from other constellations means that only the constellation will be given to this tool at it on any given night. Misha thinks that that's kind of fucked. Um, yeah, whoever wrote this book, good job, dumbass. Um, <laughs> staring at the night sky... I thought that's it, starring then. Staring at the night sky without any nearby obstructions is absolutely necessary, and the user must have at least seen the constellation traced out before being able to trace it. It is important that once the user believes that they have located such a constellation that they hold shift in order to not move the looking glass at all, and then carefully trace the pattern of the constellation using left click. By not holding the looking glass absolutely still in this way or without tracing with near perfect accuracy the constellation the magical pattern will not be truly discovered. This discovery is permanently etched into the user's mind and never forgotten to the point that they will no longer need a device to see it in the night sky at all. Okay. That's kind of cool. So let's make some glass. Let's make some looking glass. I mean, I definitely have the fucking sand for it, but I think all my furnaces are currently being used. <laughs> or not, they're all finished, because I only gave them 16 stone. That was a creeper. Oh, of course. Can you suck my nuts, fuck off and die, you green prick? I, your mother never loved you, and I hope that you wind up in hell. Thanks for the hole. I can't even fill it because I have no dirt. That's great. That's, that's just great. Never mind, I have 13 dirt. That's 
definitely enough to fix this hole. I didn't even hear the fucking prick coming. Ugh, what a mess. Ah, fuck it, I'm gonna put a floor down anyway, who cares. Alright, let's throw some sand in here. I just need, how many is it for glass panes? It's six, right? I just need six. There we go. And while I'm doing that, what was the rest of it? It was, um... Aquamarine, sticks, wood, and gold. I have all of that. Yeah, I have the gold, I have the aquamarine, and I have the wood for sticks. I'm actually gonna put some raw beef in here. Also, why are you still burning? Oh, yeah, I put food in you. How did I forget that? I literally did that seconds ago, and I still forgot, somehow. My memory is like a sieve. And I don't need amnesia to tell you that. <laughs> right, okay. Turn the glass into glass panes, because apparently this mod wants to be a pain in my ass. Why? That's, that's literally the exact recipe. Why? Why? Does it have to be dyed? Oh, suck my asshole. It has to be dyed. Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. It doesn't have to be dyed. Oh, of course, I just built this. How did I forget? It needs this, doesn't it? It wants me to do it in the fucking magic crafting table. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the ass to get up and down. I should invest in ladders. Right, why are you empty? You were full earlier, why are you empty now? Can I only craft you at night? Because that would be a pain in my ass. Um... I can only craft you at night, can't I? Starlight required. Yep, it needs to be nighttime. I literally can't craft this until it's nighttime. I guess all I I guess I finally got my fucking wish. I I can no longer skip the night. I kind of need it to be night if I want to get anything done. So that's just great. Um. In the meantime, though, I guess I can start work on the fucking walls for this place. I don't know what that sound was. Alright, let's just nerd pole up. There we go. There two, there four, there six, there eight. Shut oh, I ran out of blocks. That's a shame. <laughs> right, uh, what can I do while I wait for it to be night time, then? Because everything that I want to do in this mod requires it to be night time, and I don't just want to wait. Um... I guess I could go mining, I suppose? I mean, I kind of have to if I, if, I, if I need more, you know, stone. Because I don't want to have to just rely on the shit shack's resources. Um, so yeah, where was that cave? I know I passed a cave recently. That's not a cave, that's my magic hole. Um, sounds like my, sounds like the title of my sex tape, my magic hole. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm out of food. Well, not really, but you know, I'm nearly out of food. Hello, you. Can I use this on you? No, nothing? Okay, never mind. They probably mean like the area has strong natural magics or something equally as fucking spiritual or something, but uh, I don't know. Oh, aluminium. Uh, it's, uh, I'm taking my shield off. I never really use it, and it's much more convenient to just have my torches here. Huh. Cave-in, maybe? Is there anything past this? Yes, there is. Whole load of nothing. Okay, well, you know what, let's just keep digging until we find something. I need the cobblestone anyway, like I said. Ooh, coal. This is always handy. Wait, hold on, I can vein mine of this, I keep forgetting. That is so useful. I'm so glad I discovered that. Vein Miner is so useful. Is Vein Miner technically cheating? Maybe. Do I care? 
No. 